Well, it's Dean Takahashi from Venture Beat. I'm here with uh, Tim Willits uh, from id Software, the yeah. creative director. And uh, you guys are showing Rage at a, another E3 here shortly. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, how do you feel like uh, that it's uh, it's come along after all these uh, years of development? Well, you know, it's it, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, as everyone knows, it's a new IP for us. It's, you know, new technology for us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a new direction. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the game really... You know, at its core, of course, it's still a first-person shooter. You know, it's still mm -hmm. an id Software title, uh, uh, but uh, but we really try to do a lot of different things with it. Mm -hmm. You know, and really kind of push the boundaries mm -hmm. uh, past just the run and gun kind of experience. So, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully with uh, what we're showing at E3 this year, you know, the the, uh, the stuff that we've shown online, mm -hmm. that people can see that at its heart, it's, it's a truly it's an id Software game, but mm -hmm. it's much different than anything we've done in the past. So there's, there's, I guess you guys have been at this first-person shooter genre for decades, but there's, there's still innovation to be had here, I guess. Yeah. Yes, I mean, you know, as 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 people know, John Carmack is the founder of, of the first-person genre. We invented it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, but as you know, um, the industry has evolved and, and grown, and as we have evolved and grown. Mm -hmm. You can see first-person games going in all different directions, mm -hmm. which is very exciting. They're no longer just your classic combat, you know, mm -hmm. action game. You know, mm -hmm. there's more story in first-person shooters, more adventure elements. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and even in Rage, we have a whole driving component, which in the past you never would have found in first-person shooter. Yeah. Uh, so really, you know, the um, the genre has, has still a long way to go, mm -hmm. and it's still, uh, I think, the best genre. Mm -hmm. So there, there's something that's just more vivid about about Rage when you look at it and the, the graphics somehow is sharper. I don't, I don't know. What's a good way to explain it? Uh, you know, considering people have been thinking that graphics in games are pretty good for quite a long time yes. now, right? I mean, how can you make it better? Well, the unique <laughs> thing about Rage is the mega texture or virtual texturing system. Um, and what that allows us to do is it allows us to uniquely texture and paint the whole world differently. So our artists mm -hmm. can now be real artists, can they be truly artists, you know, they, because um, in the past, mm -hmm. in most games, you, you make one like wallpaper texture and then that just tiles everywhere. Mm -hmm. But our, our guys can just paint and they can draw anything. Mm -hmm. So you get a world that is very rich and very exciting and very, very vibrant mm -hmm. uh, because we let artists be artists. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been doing sort of a steady drumbeat um, of, uh, of uh, promotion over over time here. What's uh, some of the strategy for between now and, and September, I guess? Well, we, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, because it's a new IP, mm -hmm. you know, and those are always difficult uh, mm -hmm. to kind of get the, get everyone's right mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've been at every show. Mm -hmm. We've tried to get people hands-on with it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, people that play it, you know, always come away uh, from it uh, having a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to try to get that in front of as many people as we can. Mm -hmm. And we want to keep, you know, the momentum up, uh, up, up to our launch. Uh, because really, it is. It, 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 it's a lot different from anything we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. and, and people need to experience it to really believe it. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting. You've, you've already done an, an iPhone app. Right? I mean, uh, yes. It's, it came out before the original game for the the PC and the consoles. So uh, that was a very interesting strategy as well. I guess. Well, yes. I mean, and, and it's a great marketing um, a tool for us. Uh, it also helps us uh, fine tune some of the some of the, the. It didn't use the same engine, but it used some kind of theory from our mm -hmm. main game. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was a great way to get more word out about the, 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 the title, the universe, and the setting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, uh, uh, from, from here on out, uh, what, what has to happen, I guess? Uh, to well, I mean, the game is, 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 is all built. Uh -huh. uh, so the guys back in Dallas, you know, I'm, I'm here, in, here uh, in L.A., but the guys back in Dallas are busy working on polishing it, mm -hmm. you know, getting it to run 60 hertz everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, making it as fun as possible. Mm -hmm. Cool. There you go. Well, hopefully it'll, it'll all pay off. Uh, how many? How, how long would you say you guys have been doing it? Too? Uh, well, we've we've been on it for a while, you know, and um, uh, well, and, and the reason behind that really is because mm -hmm. it's brand new technology. I mean, uh -huh. it is yeah. uh, this technological uh, step for us has been a paradigm shift mm -hmm. in how we created assets and art in the game. You know, mm -hmm. so any, so anytime you make a huge shift like that, mm -hmm. it always you know takes time. But you know, the people that have played it have said. It's well worth the wait. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Thanks very much, Tim. Thank you.